Hello everyone, welcome back to the fourth episode of our horror game course and in this episode I'm gonna be talking about flashlight and how can we create one. So let's just dive right into it by going into our HP character and from here first thing that I wanna do is I want to create a function that's gonna be for turning on uh, our flashlight. So we're gonna create function and call it turn on flashlight just like that and I'm gonna create function turn off flashlight and I'm gonna explain everything what I do here but for now we are setting up and in the inputs folder we're gonna create EA flashlight so right click input input action and call it I flashlight so we are creating input for our flashlight here which is gonna be F make sure it's a bool so that is perfect and now we go to the input mapping context and we, we're just gonna create new mapping and we're gonna select our flashlight and put whatever keybind you want for me I want F and save and you can close it as we're not gonna need it and now in the HP character event graph we want to set up our uh, our keybind so we are doing in enhanced input actions so from here I'm gonna go ahead and create IA flashlight and here we need to set up our logic what we want uh, to happen when uh, we press F so first thing we want to do is go to the viewport and from our viewport we want to add to our camera spotlight this is very basic way of creating a flashlight we can rename it F2 so F2 uh, click it and F2 to rename and uh, here we can see our flashlight and we can just play with it how we want I think it's uh, too big so in our cone uh, the basically the blue thing the blue uh, circle is where the intensity is gonna be the strongest and the outer cone it's where it starts to fade away so for now I'm just gonna do it like this and I'm gonna put like red color we can change color of our flashlight here but I'm gonna put red color so I can see because it's a day still in our map so I'm gonna compile that and save and if we go now we can see we have a red flashlight but it's very very low can fix that we can we can make a bigger outer cone or bigger this and now we have a really insanely big flashlight but it's still a day so we cannot see let's add a cube so we can see better still very very light because of the but the, as we come closer we can see it starts getting stronger but it's because we didn't set up our lighting so we can just go ahead and do it right now we will go to the uh, I don't know how is this called but click here and get uh, post process so under visual effects just get post process volume we can move it away and go to the world uh, go to the details sorry so make sure you clicked it go to the details and type in exposure and make it one minimum and maximum one and type in bound and tick this and what is this gonna do is it's gonna make our uh, post process volume take action outside of the box so whole world and not only inside of this box and now we can uh, go ahead and change our directional light and we can make it darker like this so now it, as you can see it's gonna be night in our scene and as you can see our flashlight now works you can see it and now we can actually change the color of our flashlight in our HP character viewport and as you can see we have flashlight but now we cannot turn it on or off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the spotlight uh, flashlight 
and I'm gonna turn on vis turn off visibility and now we won't see our flashlight right but we still cannot open it because we didn't set up our logic here so on started I'm gonna pull out the branch and our condition is gonna be we're gonna add new variable and it's gonna be flashlight active and we're gonna pull it here by default flashlight active should be you can compile should be false because we have it off you can do whatever you want you can put it active if you want you can have a player start with flashlight it doesn't really matter but if you want the player to start with flashlight active you need to tick this and also in the viewport you need to tick the visibility of the flashlight to true as well if you want to do that but for me i want it to start without having it on since i want to implement the battery system later so it's not really good to use batteries without player uh, wanting it no so if the flashlight is active and we press f we want to turn off the flashlight all right because we have it on so started branch if flashlight active we will just turn it off so what happens here if you press f we check the branch if flashlight active we turn it off if we don't have flashlight active then we turn it on pretty simple but now we are still missing logic here right because as uh, you can remember on, on the start of this video we created functions which basically you could just go ahead and uh, let's go we turn off the flashlight we can grab the flashlight here and we can set visibility to off like this and flashlight active to false so our fun function will set the visibility of our flashlight to off and also is gonna set our boolean off so that means here in the event graph uh, once we play this uh, code or we run this code our flashlight active is gonna be false so next time we press F we are gonna turn it on uh, what we could do as well you could do this code here like this so you don't get confused you could literally just break this and you could not even uh, you don't even need to put this you can just do it like this right but this is much cleaner to have it in a function so it's a good um, practice so we will use function here to make it cleaner so now when you look for the code okay where is my flashlight you can see your flashlight here you double click oh that's our code and you can easily change it and you're not gonna create a mess in your character okay so now once we have it uh, set up for off we can go ahead drag and copy and in the turn on flashlight so you go here turn on flashlight or you can also open it from here and we can paste this and now we just need to tick visibility on and flashlight active and to show a proof that this code runs we can also uh, print string we can actually make it inside of it actually we can type in flashlight off and we can make it text color red okay we can copy this and here we can call it flashlight on change color to green like that and now our code works so if we go ahead in the game we press F flashlight on press F again flashlight off on off on, off on off and so on so uh, this is perfectly working flashlight it's pretty simple though but it does the job uh, in the future uh, we're gonna when we start creating pickup items we're gonna create batteries for our flashlight so our flashlight can be powered on batteries but for now the early episodes are gonna be all about uh, setting up project and make it uh, and we can make it uh, modular for expansions 
so we can build up on it on it or we don't have to it's your choice so here we did the job we have a flashlight you can also change uh, the the size of the flashlight right you can change the outer cone you can change inner cone but for me i like it like this and i have no problem with it as you can see it's it's working so for the next episode we're gonna create interaction system so we can interact uh, with the actors uh, blueprint blueprint actors in the world and it's gonna be pretty fun so make sure you watch it for today we are done and see you tomorrow bye